Well, Pizzagate, it became a major story weeks ago when an armed man decided to investigate a D.C. area pizza place for himself. This man right here, he carried a rifle into a pizza parlor and then fired it at the floor. Media is telling you the entire story is a hoax or fake news. But what does that even mean? I spent the last month investigating. So what exactly is Pizzagate? And are there any actual facts to support the story? I've got to warn you, what we're going to talk about tonight will be disturbing to some people. But this is a reality check you won't see anywhere else. Pizzagate actually comes from the WikiLeaks release of hacked emails from Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta. In all, WikiLeaks dumped around 50,000 email messages, and it was from those emails that the claims that John Podesta may be part of a child sex trafficking ring come from. Now, to be clear, not one single email in the Podesta emails discusses child sex trafficking or pedophilia. That is a fact. But there are dozens of what seem to be strangely worded emails dealing with pizza and handkerchiefs. Self-described online investigators say that those words in the emails about pizza and the talk of handkerchiefs is code language used by pedophiles. So how did a D.C. pizza parlor get pulled into the story? Well, again, read any mainstream report, and they indicate that Comet Ping Pong Pizza was somehow linked to this fake story and has no relation to anyone involved. But the truth is, that's not true either. What media is ignoring is that the Comet Ping Pong Pizza Place is actually referenced in the Podesta emails at least a dozen or so times, and that the owner of that place, James Alphantis, is a friend of John Podesta. He was actually named, this is kind of strange, by GQ magazine as one of the top 50 most powerful people in Washington. Yes, we're talking about a pizza parlor owner. Now let's talk facts here. There is no solid evidence 